gonna live my dream. This 2016 CP3 Rising Stars broadcast is brought to you by Shot Tracker, bringing elite level analytics to every level of the game. Game Changer Nation, creating world class athletes around the globe. Assistant Basketball Coach app, your number one database for drills, plays, and coaching insight. And Jordan Brand, greatness overcomes. We welcome you inside of Forsyth Country Day High School. Joel Hillsman alongside James Blackburn here on the SUV TV. It is the end. The two teams have been selected and split up into orange and blue. And it will be the orange and the blue going up here. Outstanding effort. I'll run through the blue roster right now. It will be Carson McCorkle, Jeremy Roach, Jalen Johnson, Shamar Morrow, Scotty Barnes, Josh Birch, Isaiah LeBlanc, Chris Moore, Corey Walker, Davion Bradford, Gregory Brown III, and Elijah Taylor. For the orange, it'll be Rod R.J. Hampton, Dewan Odom, Gerald Dokes, Jalen Suggs, Dudley Blackwell, Jalen Green, Terrence Williams, Earl Timberlake, Kyrie Walker, Jamin Brakefield, Elijah Hutchins Everett, and Isaiah Todd. A late addition there, Isaiah Blunk added from the Hornets and the I mean, this, this, this is going to be a fun ball game, James. A lot of these guys have came out. They're ready to hoop over throughout the weekend, and now you get to hoop on Sunday as a part of the All-American game. Yeah, the, I'm ready for a lot of up-and-down action. I mean, it's, you know, like you said, not only do you get to play on Sunday, you get to play in front of all these people, a lot of the media. Now everybody's focused on you and you only. We've got one court running instead of two. So it's uh, be ready for a lot of up-and-down action for sure. We've got a three-man crew to officiate this one as well. So these guys are definitely taking this serious. Don't know exactly what we're waiting on. We're waiting on the baskets to be raised up. We are underway. Blackwell has it, Dudley Blackwell. For the orange, dumps it off in the middle. The layup is going to be rolling off. No good. Rebound comes down to break. Break Brown the third. Expected to go up and down and moving. Brown puts it on his leg on the floor, driving off the window. Good. Greg Brown. It's a strong take there, shown right off the bat. Pull up three off the wing. It is good. Dropping in that three ball. So I expect to see a lot of threes and a lot of dunks. Nice hook shot right there with the off hand for 44 blue. Elijah Rico, Taylor. Six foot eight. RJ Hampton hit that three ball for the orange to get it underway for the orange. There's a drive right down the lane, dumps it up, hook it in. Good. Elijah Hutchins Everett with the field goal there, and it's 5 4. And I was impressed with the pass by Earl Timberlake. He changed speeds off the ball screen. Gave him a nice dump off, so that was, that was really good at such a young age to recognize that. Step back junker, no good by Corey Walker. The put back attempt, no good by Greg Brown the third, but now they've recovered it. Going to go baseline, put it up off the window. No, they tip, fight for it, and the blue going to come away with it right there as Brown. Brown dumps it off, and the layup is good by Corey Walker, his first two. You had about the, both teams had everybody in the paint right there, but blue was able to corral it and put it in. Oh, the Orange All-Americans working right now. Two 20-minute halves and a running clock. Earl Timberlake, pull-up elbow jumper. It rolls off, no rebound. Back tap, hit the floor, and picked up by the Orange. A no look and a steal. Shot the passing lane, got the steal, and then the outlet pass was stolen. Good defense by Hampton. Hampton now gives it off down the lane, and a oh. slam dunk by Dudley Blackwell. That's the first highlight made of the game. Nice no-look flip pass for the cutter for the big slam, so. Orange, orange now will take it away and come back offensively. And Orange early on, Marcus, just to be a lot, looks a lot more comfortable in their offense. Maybe play with each other a little bit more feel. You see an offense? Here goes a slam dunk. I see more of an offense from Orange so far than Blue. Blue's just getting their points off the offensive boards and breaks. Alley, no, oop, rebound, snatched down. The five on the floor for the blue, Carson McCorkle, Scotty Barnes, Corey Walker, Greg Brown the third, and Elijah Taylor. Here's a steal. 
Easy slam dunk by Earl Timberlake. With the left hand too, so. It is R.J. Hampton, Dudley Blackwell, Earl Timberlake, Elijah Hutchins Everett, and Kyrie, uh, not Kyrie, Kyrie, has he changed jersey? No, he hasn't, okay. Corey Walker's still there. Kyrie is still on the bench there. 9-8 ball game, three minutes gone by. Here's McCorkle, McCorkle baseline, put it up, no. Rebound on the floor, put it back in the middle, it is good. So Greg Brown, offensive rebound and put back his second field goal. Yeah. And it's a 10-9 ball game. Orange keeps on wanting to get out of the break and finish, and Blue's just crashing the boards and getting all their points in the, off of the rebound, so. Blackwell showing the range, a deep right wing three from Dudley Blackwell, 6-6 out of Miramar, Florida. Yeah, I didn't know he could shoot like that. We already saw him at the dunk contest. He's got good length. Now he's showing that he gets a long ball. Turnover on the screen, and now here comes Blackwell. Blackwell slam dunk. Oh, wow. Blackwell showing it all off. Filling it up quickly. Now he has 7, 14, 10, a four-point lead. Here's McCorkle. McCorkle at the top, spins below the foul line, stops, squares up, jumper, couldn't get the Long roll. Shot. Rebound ripped down by Elijah Hutchins Everett. Outlet pass to Blackwell. Blackwell now going to hit it to a cutting Hampton. Hampton float in the lane. Oh, offensive goal, Tim. Now, if this would have been They're going to count it? This would have been the Olympics. They would have said you could knock that off the rim. So They're counting the basket, though. They're calling it defensive goal, Tim. Yeah, it looked like he knocked it off the rim there. But I like the matchup so far, uh, Joel, the two number zeros for blue and orange, which is Rod R.J. Hampton in the orange and Carson McCorkle in the blue. Two point guards squaring up. Long three, oh, wow. badly missed, no good. Rebound, outlet pass. Walker's going to steal that outlet pass. Here comes Corey, he dumps it off, and there is Taylor. Taylor got the roll good. Elijah Taylor with the hoop, his second field goal. Elijah coming in at 6'8". Back quickly this way. A little freestyle play. There's a short oh, corner jumper. Give me that. Get that shot out of here. Taylor with the block. Now here they come McCorkle. Over the front of the rim is good. Carson McCorkle, who just won the dunk contest. Looked like he might not have had that many legs right there, but then he got it over the lip of the rim, his first field goal. And Elijah Taylor so far has been really impressive. He's protected the paint. He's got several good rebounds. You just saw it. There's another big rebound from the big fella. So I like his body. I like his size. He's got a really nice base. Corey Walker making moves and driving and scoring. Corey Walker, his second field goal at 6'6". Six, six. That was too easy. Dovey cut him off, but he's shown off the ability to put it on the floor. Walker, 6'6", six, six, out of Hastings, Florida. Creekside was where he'll be going. We're tied at 16 with 14 and a half to go. There's a long three cool. and a foul on the three. They'll give him the three points and we'll keep it moving. Yeah, that's a bad foul. Played initial good defense, but force to it, but. Two Hoopers know how to have, always get better at your craft. Download the Assistant Basketball Coach app today to get drills, plays, and content that will help you improve your game. Follow on Instagram at coach underscore ABC. All right, we've had substitutions here in the first five minutes. We've got played six minutes gone, new orange, new blue. There's a drive and a left-hand layup. That's still Timberlake in, but Timberlake with his second field goal. Gives him a two-point lead. Okay, we'll see uh, a lot of quick shots so far here, Joel, for both teams. So we really haven't seen a lot of offense, which is what we expect from an all-star game. But Jeremy Roach puts in the jumper as he is in, also along with Isaiah LeBlanc. There's a drive and put up off the left hand. Good Earl Timberlake. Put the speed on the big fella. Didn't quite have the feet. Quick, quick just to get to the block there. Here's Isaiah LeBlanc working between the rings, goes around the screen, driving with the right. They knocked it away. It's on the floor. Picked up shot. It's blocked oh. up in there again. It was picked up and scooped up by Davion Bradford, but he was unable to finish it. Back coming this way for the Orange. Nice bounce pass to Blackwell, who dunked it home. Blackwell said he was an MVP early on. He got the block. That was an impressive block on one end, Joel. And then he got put down the other one and got the two-hand slam. So he's come out with a ton of energy on both ends. Going around the screen now is Roach. Roach over to Bradford. Bradford catch it, kept it high and put it in. And Davion Bradford, 6'9", with the hoop, his first field goal off the bench. And you said it, he kept it high. Kept it high, kept the little guards from getting in there and put it in. Nice pick and roll. LeBlanc with the rebound, gonna come all the way with the right hand, got it pent up. Pent on the glass, they blocked it. 
Brakefield blocked it on the brake slam. No, he's going to lay it up and blew the layup. Timberlake gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Earl Timberlake quickly filling it up. He has eight already in the game. The Shaq to the full nominee, too, waving the guy off running in in the midst of the layup. 12-14 to go in a four-point ball game, 24-20. to Yeah, I expect this one to be tight the whole way through, so both teams are going to go on little runs. Roach drives, stops, fades at the foul line. Is no good. Rebound going to come off, and here comes Jalen Green. Green running the break. Green splitting the defense. Green flipped it up with the right hand. It rolled in good. He went coast to coast. Jalen Green with the hoop. Put a little English on that one, too. So finished with the right hand on the left side. And that's a 6'8 six, six, guy doing that, coast to coast, putting the ball on the floor. That's impressive. LeBlanc fed the post turn hook by Bradford. Oh, nice. Good off the window. So Bradford with two good post points. Two point two post field goals. He's got four points. Here's Timberlake. Timberlake gonna hesitate. Him Timberlake down the lane. Put it up with the left hand. No fight for the rebound underneath. One man got it out of three men. So he retreats to the corner and pulls the three bombs. Yeah, it's good to see on the other end though. It's good to see Breakford. It's good to see somebody actually have a post game, a back to the basket game. You don't see that a lot. Gerald Dokes with that three ball out of the right corner. We had some fun with him yesterday at our broadcast position. He was a few feet down. He had played real hard and he was asleep. And you know we went and put that on Instagram. Sure did. <laughs> and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at SUVTV. So Dokes into the forecourt now. Gerald Dokes, six. Oh, wow. Hey, it's all for the. I was, uh, our guy, Blackwell, that's the first thing he's done. Or done wrong I should say missed a dunk but man he came off the pick and roll at the top nobody cut him off he went down and about put down a big one green with the drive and was fouled remember no free throws if you're fouled in the act of shooting it's automatic two points if it's an end one you get the end one going around the screen now he's going to split right through him is Roach Roach put it up no tip by Bradford no Roach with the offensive rebound now for the blue Jump pass across to Isaiah LeBlanc, who kicks it back out to the top. A long left-handed three. Good. Bottomed it out. LeBlanc will get the assist. He kicked it out there. And that was great ball movement all together for Blue that time. It all started with the point guard play of, uh, of Roach. Woo! Just went skying over him. I'm sorry if I blew some speakers out. Gerald, I see you, boy. Gerald Dokes just went flying down the lane, almost like a throwdown. Let's take a look at our assistant basketball coach replay. Dokes with the hesitation, got below the foul line. Have some, Bradford. Yeah, we said it early on, there's going to be a lot of ducks. I forgot about it. Nine twenty-five to go, a nine-point game, 34 to 25. And the orange is leading the blue. The orange are the road team. Here's McCorkle. McCorkle catch fires a three. It's going to be short. Tip, no good. Rebound comes off to Isaiah Todd, who's checked in now for the orange. Gets it up ahead to Kyrie Walker. Alley and oop. Oh, wow. To Jalen Suggs. Well, they've really pushed this one out to an 11-point game as blue turns it over on the break. Blue's just coming down, taking a lot of quick shots. I've only really seen one possession where they're moving the ball, getting a good look. The rosters did not come uh, become official until right in the middle of the dunk contest, and we were taking a look at the rosters, and we felt the Orange pretty much had a decisive advantage. And you see right there Terrence Williams, a driving lay, his first field goal, pushed the lead out to 13 with eight and a half to go. But McCorkle can shoot him back in it. That shot is short. Rebound hit the floor. Here's Odom. Odom coming in transition. Odom with an alley. Tried to go to Walker. No. A turnover. Well, I mean, McCorkle, he can shoot, but he's coming down just taking shots without even letting anybody else touch it. So, Blue right now is just playing way too much one-on-one. -on -one. That's why they're down by 13. Here's Morrow. Morrow now will give it off, and here's Corey Walker. Walker on the right wing, steps inside the arc, pulls the three, tried to go off the window. No tip by Morrow. Good. Offensive rebound and put back Shamar Morrow. 6-4. Out of the Oakland shoulders and a steal. Steal in the backcourt and a slam and a dunk. And that'll get him back in really quick. Greg Brown, Greg Brown with his third field goal. Cuts it quickly back down to nine at 38-29. And now steal. Here come the blue running out. Bounce pass Morrow behind his man, 
And Greg Brown could not get it. Greg Brown the third couldn't get it, but it was a nice little break there, opportunity and a chance to close that gap. Seven and a half to go. First half, Joel Hillsman, James Blackburn, glad that you're with us. The Dunk Dog All-American game. These are the type of games that, as an official, you love to officiate. Oh, that's a beautiful move right there. Beautiful move with the left hand, Kyrie Walker. He went behind his back and then he finished with the offhand, kept it away from the defense. That was his first field goal. So Kyrie Walker in the orange and Shamar Morrow in the blue. They are guarding each other. They are travel ball teammates with the Oakland Soldiers. Inbound into the backcourt to Morrow. Morrow with the right hand dribble, belt high. Stops and the pass was deflected. Suggs kicked it. It'll be out of bounds, side out of bounds on the inbound. Somebody needs to tell Orange team that this is not kickball or soccer. So, oh, good defense there at the top. Now it goes around Morrow right down the pike and dunked it home. Teammate on teammate crime. He went blue right by him and dunked it home. Morrow with his second field goal. Nine point ball game. So now they're trying to make a quick push as we take a look at our assistant basketball coach replay. Morrow got a little bit of that screen, but he got the step. Walker went reaching, and then there's your slamming it on. Here's a steal again on the break. Nice job by Corey Brown, the third. He put it up and in good. Gregory Brown, the third, excuse me. He has eight points. Lead now down to seven. They picked it up a little bit in a traveling violation called Isaiah Todd. Moved his steps before he crossed the timeline. So the blue now picking it up with momentum and now trying to put the pressure on the arms. There's the inbound tomorrow. Morrow to McCorkle. McCorkle going to come right down the lane, put it up with the right hand. He rushed it. No. Rebound to Dewan Odom. Odom now running in the middle of the floor with the right hand. Over the bounce pass to Walker, who slams it home. Beautiful job of setting up Kyrie Walker. The dime drop to Dewan Odom. And he looked at it too, Joel, before he dunked that, just to see if he was going to challenge it. Morrow now splitting. Seems to be getting that competitive juice flowing just a little bit. Seven-point ball game. And now here comes Walker. Walker across the timeline. Skipped to Malou. Wow. Tricky dribble. Count it. No. He'll get to two points, though, Kyrie Walker. That's the second time he's taken the right hand going back between the legs or behind the back in traffic. So that was a pretty interesting move he, right there. He has a little dipsy do in his game now, a little flair to his game. He gets compared to a lot of greats, and a lot of people think that he could be very special. Turning Walker in the lane. Got the roll. Good. Tough shot. Corey Walker, 6-6, makes that move right there. Hastings, Florida, and he plays with Game Elite Florida. Coming back this way for the blue. Almost a turnover, and it was. Suggs going to inbound it right to Odom. Odom goes up and dunks it. He inbounded that ball before anybody knew that they could even do it. Referee handed it to him. He said, okay, I'm going to go. He had Isaiah Todd running with him. I thought he may throw it off that window, but Dewan Odom out of Beaufort, Georgia, with that slam in his hand. Poor spacing right here for blue team. So everybody's on one side, everybody's running to the ball. Mass substitutions getting ready to come in. Oh, Walker's drive shot. up, no, uh-oh, let's see. Yep, Corey Walker got it. Is. Yeah, Walker got it. He's got eight points, 6-6 six, six from the Nuggets, and now we've got mass substitutions. Timberlake will be back in, LeBlanc will be in, along with Jeremy Roach. Kyrie Walker said, I'm just getting warmed up. I don't want to come out right now. And Bradford, 4.06 to go. They closed it. Blue teams picked up the uh, defensive intensity and closed this thing back to seven points. Into the full court now. Here's Hampton. Hampton between the rings and between the legs. Going to drive to the left side. Put it up. No good. Rebound tipped by LeBlanc. And now the blue will come away with it. Here's Timberlake. Nope, going to drive all the way. Put it up. Good. A nice driving score there. Chris Moore, excuse me, not Timberlake. Chris Moore. And the lead now down to five. It had ballooned quickly up to 11, but it's now back to five with three and a half to go in this first half. Around the screen, a pull-up of three. No, oh, put back dunk. I see you. I like Come that. flying in and put it down, Jalen Green. That was impressive right there. He just came out of nowhere for the three-point line. Came off the rim perfectly for him. He put it in with two hands. Good Turnover defense, by the blue. You know, I'm really impressed so far, Joel. You've seen it more than me, but Rod R.J. Hampton so far for the Orange team, number zero right now with the ball. He's done some good things this game. Green brings it across the forecourt. 6-5 out of Fresno. Between the rings, he skips it back to R.J. R.J. going to drive, try to float it up. No good. Roll ripped off. Come on the rim. Here comes Jeremy Roach. 
Roach in transition for the orange. He surveys the floor, peels it back, gets a screen. Now he's going to use it. It went under the screen, so he pulls the three. Good. That's what you're supposed to do. Jeremy Roach, a three ball. Got him caught in that screen. He went under it, and he pulled it. Green back all the way with the long sleeves and the long arms. No. Rebound to Bradford. Bradford to LeBlanc. LeBlanc, a long lead pass up ahead. It's going to be the easy layup and a dunk by Chris Moore. I They're thought right he was going to be. Too. Yes, he is. It's a two-point game. Blackwell going to stop, swing it over to Green. Green on that right wing, looked at the defense. Now he's going to swing it all the way back. Here's Hampton. Hampton, one step dribble, shoots a three. It is no good. Rebound ripped off, and now here comes Scotty Barnes. Barnes gets it to Bradford. Bradford across the timeline. Some guard come help him, or it's going to be trouble. Backcourt. That's the second time this game, Joel, we've seen a big fella. Try to handle it too much, and both times result in a turnover. So. That's usually what happens. The guards got to come and get him, even in an all-star situation. There's a bad inbound. Gives him a little time to be freestyle, but then you want to kind of settle down because, see, what happened is now you're playing with the top of the top here at the camp, and you always want to shine. 151 to go. 48-46. Now here's LeBlanc on the right wing with the right-hand dribble. LeBlanc going to go baseline, stop, pick his dribble up, and the turnover. Pass was turned over. Now here he comes back this way. Alley and no. Oh. Blackwell couldn't get it. Bradford now going to skip it up ahead. Here's Scotty Barnes. Barnes catches and, oh, he missed it. <laughs> Tried to reverse dunk it. Got his own rebound, put it up. Green contested him, but he still scored. Just padded the stats right there, getting another offensive rebound. Oh, wow. We're going to come back uncontested dunk down the lane Punch for down Dokes. A Gerald Dokes with that slam jam. He's got seven in the contest. 50 to 48. Coming up on a minute to go. Here's Roach over on the left wing. He gets the screen. They go on top of the screen this time to prevent the jumper. Over on the left wing. One minute, one minute. A long high arcing three. It'll be short. Rebound by Green out of bounds, and it will still stay with the orange. Yeah, a little bit of a force right there on the shot. So question is, with 48 seconds left, how many more possessions are we going to see? Possibly two or three. Hampton picked up by LeBlanc. Uh, maybe so. He went on a cut, but it wasn't there. Hutchins Everett puts it on the floor. Power dribble and long strides. He got fouled. He'll get the two points. Good strong take right there. And was patient with it. He kind of waited for it to open up. Here's Scotty Barnes into the full court with 25. Scotty with a long dribble. Goes up off the window. It is good. Scotty Barnes. Barnes with his third field goal six points in the contest 52 to 50 and we come up on the final 10 seconds here in this first half we will see them hold for one shot you see that right there three two and we're going to stop pull up a long three he says he shoots it when he gets ready james you don't tell him when to shoot it gerald dokes a three to end that first half and give him a five point lead 55 50 right here the suv tv.com CP3 Rising Stars broadcast is brought to you by Shot Tracker, bringing elite level analytics to every level of the game. Game Changer Nation, creating world class athletes around the globe. Assistant Basketball Coach app, your number one database for drills, plays, and coaching insight. And Jordan Brand, greatness overcomes.
Welcome Welcome you back inside of Forsyth Country Day. We are at the half of the dunkdog.com. All-American game, 55 to 50. It is the orange leading the blue. Just some quick numbers. Corey Walker with eight. Greg. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Outstanding. Perfect. These are uh, pro. This is the. Uh, this is the. Uh, this is the pro box scores right here, Joel. So. Yeah, I missed that. Did not know that they were keeping that down. Now they brought it to me, so the shot is no good. We'll take a look at the numbers really quickly. Let me go total points. Uh, Corey Walker with nine. Gregory Brown with eight. Jeremy Roach with five, Shamar Morrow with six. That's for the blue. For the orange, Gerald Dokes has 10. Bradley uh, Dudley Blackwell has nine, and Earl Timberlake with eight. And, and it's four assists, too. Leads yep. the game in assists, so. Yep, 57 to 50, and the hoop is going to count. So here they come on a long inbound to Suggs. Suggs going to go up and slam it home. Neither team shot it particularly well from beyond the arc, although the orange was five of eight, the blue was four of 13. But we're in a six point ball game. Got 20 more minutes, gonna go on the baseline, try to reverse oh, wow. it and score. Nice drive going down the baseline, Jalen Johnson. Johnson using the rim as protection from the shot blocker. And there's Odom coming back that way, dunking the ball home, Dewan Odom. Wasting no time for orange. To see if the tired legs and all come into play the second half for these guys. They've been here for two days playing games. Alley. Oh, wow. You got to know how to do it. Swing on the rim, big fella. Kyrie Walker, he now has eight in the contest. Walker dunks everything with authority, too, as he gets the steal right here. Orange coming back this way. Tried to alley it back up. It was caught underneath. Now kicks it back out. Here's Walker on the left wing. Walker now checked defensively by Gregory Brown the third, and then there's a three. Well, no, he threw that one up actually to number one. He threw another alley-oop to Odom. Go on, Odom put it home. Yeah, threw two alley-oop passes in a row. I like what Cor Gregory Brown the third has done. He drives and scores with that left leg right there. Yeah, that was impressive over the, the length of the shot blocker. Brown now with 10 in the contest. Lou was down there arguing who was going to guard uh, Walker. So we wanted to guard him, Joel. Here's Walker between the rings. Right hand dribble between the legs. Little shake and bait. Goes to the elbow. Pulls the jumper. It's in and out. No good. Rebound ripped out of the air by Morrow. Shamar Morrow. Tricky dribble near midcourt, but he's able to recover it. And then Jalen Suggs came in, but Morrow protecting the ball very well. Drives now kicks it off to the left. And the layup is going to roll off. No, they fight for the rebound. Odom picks it up. Long lead pass. They're going to have an easy layup right here. Terrence Williams dunked it home. You want to talk about cherry picking that time. Orange team had two guys over half court. So got out, got, got him an easy one. Up 10 now. Taylor gives it over. Now he swings it to Jordan Birch. Birch now to Taylor. Good. Nice cut, nice pass, nice finish. Three minutes gone by in this second half. Odom spinning off the window. It is good. And Taylor on that last back is basket, Marcus, you know, he's been impressive so far this game. Good numbers in the first half, had four boards. Six points now for Taylor. Foul line jumper, no good. Rebound hit the floor. Suggs is going to pick it up. Left hands it up ahead. There's another alley. No, couldn't oh. do it. Uh, and you'll see that from Walker even in games. He, he likes to, you know, the book on him is an outstanding playmaker and likes to get everybody involved. And we take a look at the assistant basketball coach dot com replay and that's Terrence Williams with that easy little dunk underneath the hoop there off that screen Morrow now going to roll it down low the defense came from the back weak side and a foul he'll get those two points Elijah Taylor now with eight again Taylor setting a hard screen hard roll goes up draws the contact so Williams going to step right into a three front iron short Rebound comes down, and now here comes the orange in transition. Excuse me, the blue in transition. There's an alley broken up by Morrow. Good. Jalen Johnson was leading that orange, that blue break. Dunkdog.com, the All-American game. 
Carson McCorkle won the dunk contest. There's a drive. He got pushed. No call. Went up with the left hand. No. Morrow gets the rebound. Retreats to the corner. And pulls a three. It is good. In your mouth. Shamar Morrow, a three from the left-hander who was playing with a injured left hand. I was told it was broken. and I know you can play with a lot of broken stuff. He just stroked in that three from over there, and he hasn't reached for it or grabbed it or anything like that. So, obviously, it may not be as bad or it may be manageable. He's 14 years old. He'd be all right. There's a drive by Williams who drives and scores. Yeah, play it off. He's been – He's. you're right. He hasn't even looked at it while I've been here, and he's been in the dunk contest too. So, hasn't affected him yet. Mass substitutions getting ready to come in for both squads. For the blue and the orange. Now they hold it over on the right wing. Morrow pulls a long three. Banked it. No. Got the rebound down low. Get it out of here. Foul on Walker. They'll give him the two points. But, you know, I like the fact that Walker, he's been playing a lot of defense. He's been actually playing both ends in this game. And we'll take a look at our assistant basketball coach replay. Kyrie Walker caught it off the glass. And, oh, yeah, I thought he did a chin-up. He just swung on the rim. <laughs> Maybe in a few more years he'll be doing chin-ups. The three skips off no good. Scotty Barnes gets the rebound for the blue. 71 to 66. Five-point game. Game beginning to tighten up a little bit with 14, 15 to go. McCorkle on the cut from right to left. Stop. Gathers. Shoots. Good. There Falling goes. away. Love the foot shooting form of Carson McCorkle. And you said it in the first half, you know, he struggled to get good looks, but that one was wide open and he put it in. Three ball is good coming back this way. Jalen Green. Green There's a showing. nice little dip to the lane. Jeremy Roach. That was. He gave a nice little in and out. Throws the defense. Got a nice layup off the glass. Coming back quickly this way. There to skip it. And a dunk. Brightwell comes down and dunks it home. Blackwell. Dudley Blackwell with the slam dunk. Yeah, you can't get many easier than that right there. Roach. Left hand dribble on the left wing. Left high. Going to send Scotty Barnes back through. Going to use the screen. Fake the only way. Going to drive. Put it up off the window. Roach, no. Rebound hit the floor, but taken away quickly by the orange. Gets it up ahead there on a the break. And a slam. Oh, he almost <laughs> lost it going up as he put it in. Jamie Blakefield. He did do the layup, and he grabbed the rim, but we're not going to call that a slam. McCorkle will hold it. McCorkle it's a looking screen. for a screen. Stop. Now leaned off balance. Still shot it. It was on line. It was long. Rebound comes down. Two Dokes, and Dokes will walk it into the full court with the right-hand dribble. Dokes hesitate, stop, pull up, a three at the top is good. It's a tough shot, good defense, better offense. You know, Dokes with 13 now, quiet 13 from Gerald Dokes. Yeah, when you get to the scores like we're showing, 13 will be a little quiet. That was a nice-looking shot right there. Jeremy Roach again for a three to lead it. Quickly balloon back out to 11. Now it's down to 8, 81 to 73, 12 and a half to go. Driving, Dokes off the window good. He's got 15. He's quietly now making his name known and, he was, and trying to be the MVP of the All-American game. Roach was giving him too much space there. Roach three is no good. Rebound going to be ripped off by Earl Timberlake. Timberlake puts it on the floor. Timberlake in transition. Dumped it off in a slam dunk. That's his fifth assist right there. Gerald Timberlake, I tell you, T-I-M-B-E-R-L-A-K-E on the assist. And then a fine dunk by Brakefield. There's the steal right there for Orange again out in transition. Brakefield lost it. Rebound comes to Dokes. Dokes short right corner three. It rolled off the lip of the rim. No good. Rebound now coming down to the blue, and they're trying to push it. Trailing by 12 now. Long lead pass for Scotty Barnes. Out of bounds underneath the own basket. It'll go over to the orange. And a lot of these coaches right now, they just got to remind themselves that they're in an all-star game. <laughs> it's Brakefield going to walk right into a three. It is short. Out of bounds. No good. Dokes couldn't save it. It'll go over to the orange. McCorkle, Roach, Barnes, Bradford, and Moore, the five on the floor for the orange, and here is Roach with the left-hand dribble. Roach on the left wing, picks it up, and now feeds the post into Bradford. Bradford back to the basket, but the help is coming. Now he wants to get, get a repost. Going. Roach looked away from him, drove it, put it up with the right hand good. Quick first step right there for Roach. Was. I would have liked to have seen him get it back to the post. Bradford wanted to get reestablished on that left block. Roach, though, with the quickness, was able to split through. There goes Dokes down the lane, layup good. He's got 17. Yeah, anytime you see the big man with his numbers, you got to give it to him. So, But in all-star games like this, you just don't see the bigs get involved as much as they should. 
McCorkle baseline shot is up. No, he will get the two points. So McCorkle has six points in the contest. It's still a 10-point game. Orange has been leading from the beginning. Here is Timberlake. Timberlake lost it. Roach will come away with the steal. They've got the numbers, but couldn't able to. Dribbling. He needs to look up. He had numbers. Got to break the pre break the timeline now. He underhands, flips it all the way down the court. And there's a slam dunk by Walker. No, he couldn't get it to go in there. Where's Chris Moore? McCorkle fades away, spins, it's off, and now we'll have our menu, uh, automatic substitutions right here, the SUVTV.com. Three ball by Suggs, no good. 87 to 77, 945 to go. Here's LeBlanc. LeBlanc kicks it over in that left side to Gregory Brown the third, and he was fouled on a three-point attempt. He gets all three shots. Wow. All three points. So that makes it 87 to 80. Nine and a half to go. It was back and forth there in the first 10 to 12 points, but ever since the Orange has taken the lead, they've kept it. RJ Hampton's three is no good. Long arms of Gregory Brown the third, rip it down, but then stolen away by Suggs, who gives it to Hampton. Oh, Hampton nice had to go pass. behind the back to avoid him, and Suggs got the lay. That was a beautiful recognition. The big man was coming up behind him and gives a little flip pass behind him for the easy layup. Jordan Birch handling now and swings it over on the right side for the blue. Look at him inside. He's got him pinned. Corey Walker, he fed the post right there. One power dribble goes up with the left hand and scores. He knew what he wanted to do. Elijah Taylor, he's having himself a pretty good game as well with 14. Yeah, very good game. Rebounding, protecting the rim, being tough inside. Just gave a nice little bump. There he is boxing out of the perimeter. Rebound, like snatch down. Yeah, rebound by Gregory Brown. The third, Brown and Taylor have played pretty well for the blue. Here goes Birch. Birch going to go all the way to the hoop. No. But he was fouled, he'll get those two points. Well, yep. Jordan Birch now with five in the contest. Five-point game, 8-27. Yeah, Taylor, or uh, I believe that was Brown, came, put his arms down a little bit there. That's what drew the, made the ref call the foul. Wow, oh, deep, deep three. Deep three, good. He stuck it in there. Deep three, Isaiah tied his first field goal. Six foot ten, hitting a three from beyond college range. LeBlanc now gives it up, and here's Corey Walker spinning in the lane. Shot was blocked and a foul. It'll give him the two point. Everybody in this game shooting 100% from the free throw line, Marcus. Or I'm sorry, Joel. Isaiah Ty, look at him. He's like, okay, I got the range. Show the range, big fella. Dropped it in. He's coming back at it. 92-86. Here's a drive. It wasn't there. Hesitate. Hampton in trouble. Now he gives it back to Todd. I'm going to show the range again. Back iron. No. Birch gets the rebound for the blue. 7.35 to go, and they're trailing. Here's LeBlanc. LeBlanc going to go all the way. Flip it up with a reverse layup. He was indecisive. Rebound put back up. No. It cannot get it to fall. Was Taylor. It goes back over to Birch. So Birch pulls a right corner three. It is no good. Rebound tipped around. There's Walker. Walker floats it up. No. The lid on the basket. Put it back up and in. Good. Now they got about six or seven attempts right there, so... Blue team's been winning the rebound battle this game, but not winning on the scoreboard. Greg Brown made the play right there. Greg Brown the third. There's a three by Hampton. It is short, no good. Rebound right there. Fell in the lap of Suggs, and they'll get another possession. To Todd. Todd to Suggs. Suggs going to attack the baseline. Bad closeout. Tried to get it blocked from behind, and LeBlanc is going to come away with the Deuce with the long lead pass up ahead to Corey Walker with a dunk. The blue team is right back in it now. Down two. Let's see if Orange can respond. 92, 96 and a half to go. Todd had it poked away. It's scooped up and picked up on the floor by Hutchins Everett. Hutchins Everett turn, fade, no good. LeBlanc on the glass and gets the rebound. He's a nice rebounding guard. So here comes Deuce. Deuce breaking the pressure. Deuce all the way, put it up. He got foul. He'll get the two points. That's good. Tie it up. Orange really needs the basket right now. Blues on a big run. Oh, LeBlanc with his first field goal, and the game is tied 92-92 with 6.15 to go. Joel Hillsman, James Blackburn, glad that you are with us. The SUVTV.com, the DunkDog.com All-American game at the CP3 Rising Stars camp, the national camp, and a turnover now for the Orange. So the Blue with an opportunity to take their first lead since the very early moments of this contest, and we are at 5.55 to go second half, and LeBlanc will walk it into the forecourt between the legs directing traffic as he crosses the timeline. 
LeBlanc played excellent defense there on the other end, caused the turnover. LeBlanc with the hesitation, he lost it. It's picked up by Walker. Walker has it, and he wants to go on across. They're showing a double team, showing a triple team. Too Walker much. in trouble. Walker doesn't know that he's all kind of in trouble. There's a turnover, and here comes Hampton. R.J. Hampton on the break. He blew the dunk. Rebound by Suggs. Suggs now gives it back. Here's Williams. Williams kind of do a Heisman move and then step back and score. He heisman off of him. <laughs> I've seen an extension of the arm and a push off, but he did a stiff arm. Here's LeBlanc. LeBlanc tries to use a bank on a Sunday. No good out of bounds. Yeah. What I'd like to see here, Joel, the last five minutes is these guys really tighten up on both ends. You see the defense kind of step up a little bit, especially on the perimeter. So we'll see if the offense can, you know, respond by moving the ball a little bit, get some better shots. Five minutes to go, and we've got mass substitutions as mainly the starters will come back in. Here's Odom. Odom gives it over now to Kyrie Walker. Walker steps right into a topside three. It's off to the right, no good. Rebound ripped down there by Chris Moore. Moore with the rebound. He pulls it into the forecourt. Moore attacks. Oh. Goes behind the back. Moore slam dunk. That was impressive right there. Chris Moore with the slam. Very 94 impressive. all with four and a half to go. As my good buddy and good friend and world famous announcer, there's a three ball from Odom. Bang, bang. Dewan Odom a three. Ralph Lawyer says the lawyer's law, the first one to 100 wins. Somebody's about to get there. McCorkle off the screen. The three is short. Maybe legs for McCorkle. Rebound tipped in here. Here's Walker. Walker in there with a the hard dribble trying to get fancy with it in the open floor. Tried to split the defenders. They take it away from him. Here's a steal by Morrow. Morrow tried to get it up. There's no foul call. Spun away. Here's Dokes. Dokes now between the rings. Dokes on a bounce pass and a turnover. Dokes tried to get really fancy with it and get it over there for a Blackfield. Blackwell. Yeah, Scotty Barnes. Barnes coming all the way. Barnes pass. A turnover. That's about four blue. turnovers in a row we've seen there. You know, they always say if you get a steal, get rid of it, because you probably could get it stolen right back, and that's what happened on that last possession. Odom. Odom catches on the left wing. They put it down. There's Blackwell. Blackwell to Walker. Walker with the unnecessary dribble, power dribble, and goes up and dunked at home. It's 97. Yeah, Blue had about four guys on the ball. They forgot about one of the most important guys on the floor, Kyrie Walker. 99-94. I just didn't feel he needed to dribble there. Oh, good fadeaway, Jeremy Roach. Tough shot at the top. 99-96. Now with the Orange be the first ones to 100. 3.05 to go. Two. Here goes Dokes all the way. There's your 100. Dokes has filled it up in this ball game. Let me tell you something about it. 19 points. There's the float, no good. McCorkle on the put back, good. Carson McCorkle. Alley and an oop, another assist for Kyrie Walker. He alleyed it up there on the break quickly. Darrell Timberlake. Yeah, I'm really impressed with his touch on his passes. A three from Morrow, right oh, back wow. at you. Anything you can do, teammate, I can do better. Morrow with his second three and a half. 103, 101. 2.25 to go, Dunk Dog All-American game, Joel Hillsman, James Blackburn, and we've actually got us a contest now. It may come down to these two going back and forth at it. Here's Kyrie Walker. Walker with a little shake and bake, gets to the free throw line, jumper, good. Wow, and you know what I'm so impressed with Walker is the fact he could do that, Joel, create his own shot, but that he also loves to get others involved. So look for him to take control here in the last two minutes. A long slam dunk by Moore. That's one of the things that a lot of the scouts talk about with Kyrie Walker, his ability to play make and get others involved. So Walker walks it across the timeline. Hard right hand dribble picked up by Morrow. They've seen this a lot with the Oakland shoulders. Gonna hesitate, now gonna spin back on him all the way to the hoop. He put it up and he was fouled. That was a great and take. they'll give him the two points. Now I wish they would be shooting the free throw. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a heck of a matchup, though, to watch, like you said, Joel. Those two going at it. Roach, Jeremy Roach, wants Scotty Barnes to go through. Morrow gives him the screen. No two-man game. Roach all the way down the lane. Left hand, oh. yep, good. Jeremy Roach waved him off, did what he wanted to do. 75 seconds in a two-point game. 107-105. This is what an All-American game should be like. Now here is Blackwell. Blackwell all the way, and he blew the dunk off high off the hill of the rim. Jeremy Roach is going to get the long rebound and run it out for the blue. Roach all the way and dunked it home with Todd. Jeremy Roach. Miss a layup on one end, usually leads to a layup on the other end. So, 50 seconds out. to go. Tie ball game. 
107, 107, and here's Dokes, and now they're going to sit here and munch on the clock. Come on, not in the All-American game. I'm wondering if he's going to hold for one shot here. I, I seriously doubt he does, but Blue uh, doesn't even look to put any pressure on him. <laughs> now they Coach do. Coach said, or you could guard him. Here's Dokes. Dokes going to drive. Jump stop. Goes off the window. Tip. No good. Scotty Barnes tipped it out. It'll stay with the orange with 27 seconds, 26. Clock still running. And they stop, stop it at it 25 now. seconds. Coach Tristan Lawrence of the blue team said, are you could guard him or are you just going to stand there and let him run it down? Walker going to walk it into the full court now. Be picked up by Morrow. They're probably going to space it with 18. He goes over to Dokes. Dokes quick and gives it back to Walker with 15 seconds. Tied 107-107. Doesn't get a count. Here's 10. Here's 9. So they're going to go Walker and Morrow right here in the final five seconds. Walker going to drive. Ball knocked away. And a foul called on the floor. Let's see. He'll make it. He's going to give him the one and one. Oh, wow. Just take the ball. I can't believe they're going to end this game on one and one free throws. They, the referee said, we want to get out of here in this one. <laughs> First free throw shot of the day on a reach in on the perimeter. Wow. Kyrie Walker at the free throw line. Goes through his routine. Puts it up. Good. Coach can't believe it on one end. I can't either, quite frankly. <laughs> But you know, our, our Blue still has 4.1 seconds, which is plenty of time. Free throw, good. And now they will call a substitution in as Elijah Hutchins Everett will check in. Nope, they won't let Hutchins in. 4.1, here you go. Inbound now. They oh. give it to Monroe with one. He's going to long heave. No. And that is the end of the ball game. 109 to 107. It is the Orange on two free throws. The only free throws of the game, Kyrie Walker made them. And it is 109 on 107 to end the Dunk Dog All-American game, the DunkDog.com All-American game. He's James Blackburn. I'm Joel Hillsman. We'll have more coming up. It'll be the CP3 Top 20 All-Star game right here, the SUV TV.com.